Now to a Thanksgiving gift like no other. An Oahu woman blessed another family by becoming a living donor. Dr. Mary Ellen Markley gave up a kidney to help a stranger on a long transplant wait list. 443 uh, people on the wait list and 416 of those are waiting for kidneys. I just thought to myself, somebody should do something. Somebody should do something. And I realized I'm single, I'm healthy, my kids are grown, I can do something. So she did. Dr. Mary Ellen Markley checked into Queens Medical Center with her son by her side on Monday morning to become a living kidney donor for a stranger. You know, our good health is really something to be thankful for, really. You know, I don't have a lot of money or anything like that, but this, this is something I can do. And maybe, um, maybe other people will too. You can live fine with about 25% of one kidney to keep you off of dialysis. Dr. Kai Yamaguchi walked Markley through the procedure, then just like that, she's off to give the ultimate gift. It's the morning after now. Mary Ellen is understandably thirsty, but otherwise doing great and already greeting visitors. Tom, Tom. 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 are you? You look like a million bucks. Turns out FBI Special Agent Tom Simon is also a donor. He volunteers time to counsel others through the process. Simon gave a kidney to a Maui woman he found on a website called matchingdonors.com. It looks and acts almost like a dating site where uh -huh. people uh, who need to get a kidney transplant put their profiles up and their photos. Unlike Simon, Markley does not know who received her kidney. She's surprised there's no sign of the surgery. I was surprised when they checked it out this morning. It's not even a Band-Aid. <laughs> I mean, just little teeny tiny incision. I was like, okay. Diana Benningfield, Director of Organizational Planning and Operations at the National Kidney Foundation of Hawaii, knows what it feels like. She also donated a kidney. It turned out to be a four-year-old, but I was also a match for a 12-year-old and a 16-year-old, but I was the best match for the four-year-old. And honestly, I felt like I'd just given birth. I was so happy. I've never been happier in my life. Different things motivate different people. This works for me, giving back. It's, it makes life worth living, yeah. She always gives me something to be prideful for. Um, this doesn't stand out so much as it's just one more thing on the list. This fantastic, who by the way, uh, Markley was a perfect match for three people she doesn't yet know, but one was a child, one was an older man, and one was a mother. So she's hoping to one day be able to meet the recipient. Yeah. It's incredibly uh, giving of her. I mean, wow, your mm -hmm. own kidney. And I look forward to the reunion one day when maybe they reconnect and, and find out where the kidney came from and who it went to and all that. That's true. Anyone can do it, but only 28 living donors have done so in the past four years here in the state. Wow. Remarkable. Coming.